Hi everyone, good morning uh, in our places of morning right now. So, the, welcome to my channel, Caterpillar uh, Jun Hank. Today, uh, I would like to share to all of you, uh, to all of my subscribers, that they maybe you don't know or uh, anyone who do not know about our topic today is uh, regarding about on uh, power shift solenoid, okay? The power shift solenoid, what is the purpose of the power shift solenoid in this excavator? Okay, uh, I would like to share on how and what is the purpose and how that uh, power shift solenoid uh, working in this machine. Okay, follow me in this video and then I will share and show to all of you how that power shift is work. Okay, now. Uh, this excavator now it's working as you can see if you look at per uh, look at first on the rpm rpm okay the rpm is 1000 more than 1000 okay and the coolant temperature is 45 a little bit about that we're not talking about that uh, temperature or what now the hydraulic pressure is as you can see it's moving up and down and maybe there is something wrong on the pressure sensor because when I check it before by uh, gates the pressure is uh, normally almost the same with the pump 1 and pump 2 and then the power shift solenoid as you can see this is a power shift uh, pressure uh, showing in this monitor so now what to do I'm going to show you, to all of you, that the uh, power shift solenoid you can control at the back of this. Okay, so you can see I'm uh, sitting down on the operator's uh, seat. Okay, I'm going to show you. There is a two switch behind at the right side of this seat. Okay, this one switch you can use this as a uh control of speed and then the other one is o2 and minimum something like that so as you can see you know what is the purpose of this switch now as i told this switch you can switching off the power shift solenoid here okay when you uh, the normal position of this switch is in down position so you can see that is the flooring and then this is the switch so if i push this switch to up position so it's something changes on the monitor okay something changes now it's showing okay it's showing limited lim uh, limited mobility mode so meaning to say that function is just for emergency purposes and uh, limited function of this machine okay so I will put it back the switch on the down position as you can see the uh, limited will, will be out or not showing on the monitor and then the sound of the engine is changed okay now what to do uh, also uh, I will make it uh, I will tell you about this switch is getting supply from the ACM which ACM that's a machine controller okay machine controller so once the this switch is damaged so the elect uh, the supply that came from the machine controller will not be passing uh, will not switching going to the power shift solenoid okay now what to do uh, uh, is for all of you to understand how that solenoid what I, I, I was told in uh, this video that power shift solenoid what is the purpose or what is the work of that solenoid now I'm going down on this machine okay I'm going to show you I will uh, remove the wire just to show all of you what happened once the wire is going to remove it Okay, and then I will show you also. I will show also what type of error is showing on the monitor. 
Okay, now the power shift solenoid is showing. Okay, as you can see, I remove already the plastic uh, protection. See, power shift pressure. Once I remove that uh, wire on the power shift solenoid, that uh, we will see what happened. And then, uh, sorry, 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 before I'm going down, so as you can see, the machine, it will work, work normally with the power shift power uh, energize okay i will make full close of the this uh, uh, arm so you can see it's moving now there is a full close okay the back it and the arm is a uh, full close you can see the pressure and the engine if you any uh, if you can hear the sound of the engine See, don't mention about the balance of pressure. The pressure I was checked already the uh, through manual gauge again. The pressure is normal, okay. See, as you, uh, as you can hear the, the engine sound, it's a little bit changes, but it will not come in shutdown. Unlike if I remove the power shift solenoid. We'll, we will see what is the reaction of the engine okay i'm going down i will not cut this video just uh, see, it is running now this is the power shift okay power shift solenoid okay i will remove it now now the supply is ready Okay, so I will go back with a plug. See, close it again. What happened after that? Oh, see the monitor. The power shift pressure is gone. Uh, uh, no any showing of pressure now before I'm going to testing what happened to the machine once that the power shift solenoid is uh, not functioning I will show you first about the diagnostic okay diagnostic will see at first an active error Oh, I see active error. Don't mention about. Uh, don't uh, look at that uh, other error. That number thirty-six. That is an uh, engine area. That is only heater relay. Leave it about that. Don't worry about that, because there is a. Uh, we already condemned that uh, relay. Okay. As you can see, this is the hydraulic number thirty-nine. It's a hydraulic system, and the error code. That is a power shift solenoid. See. This is a power shift solenoid 581 and then what happened to the power shift solenoid that is a uh, high uh, below uh, uh what's, uh, sorry that uh, below uh, current below normal below normal or disconnected the meaning of number five the 581 is a uh, what type of error they were uh, like for example it's a power shift solenoid it is a uh, it's already disconnected and 39 that is a hydraulic system so that's the meaning of uh, to identify uh, about what type of error and where is the location and then what happened to the error why it's showing the error is damaged or the burn or disconnected or a uh, broken wire or shorted something but now the identify uh, what we call the failure failure is a uh, number five so that is a uh, uh, below current or disconnected okay now we're going on the process of testing okay i will uh, exit in this uh, system we will show you on what happened to the power ship solenoid was 
sorry. Once that is disconnected. Okay. Now, I will slowly move the pilot control close or going back. What happened? The pressure is going up but the engine is almost dying almost dying as you, if you can hear that sound so we cannot use that without we cannot use the machine without the, uh, that power shift solenoid that's the uh, function of this solenoid to regulate and relieve the uh, hydraulic to keep the engine load like a uh, normal load okay as you can see the rpm i will uh, Pull the pilot control until the engine will uh, die. Okay. As you can see, the RPM continuously drop. Slowly move until the engine will shut off. See? Kalas, Assalamualaikum. Engine is shut down. Okay, now, what to do? The next step, I'm going back. Oh, I will put it plug. I plug it again. I put it plug again. Now I'm going back again to the where the hydraulic pump is located. So. the cabin or oh, the operator's cab okay and see the pressure okay okay look at that just keep on watching and then we'll show you oh you see the power shift pressure now is available because I just uh, I already connected the power shift solenoid now it is available okay now we're testing we are in idle uh, rpm see the engine is not coming shut down see that means the power shift solenoid it's already functioning and they regulated and then also they function to return the pressure uh, to min uh, minim minimize and maximize the pressure okay that's the function of the power shift solenoid okay and then also uh, I will uh, tell uh, I will um, uh, include this uh, in this topic regarding about the extra solenoid under the under that uh, hydraulic pump okay I will tell you about that I'm going back again to there just to show what is that solenoid okay so anyone who do not know this type of this solenoid this solenoid is uh, controlling the oil flow okay this is controlling oil flow That is the oil flow. Oil flow. So in this machine, that's all the attachment. 
at that's when they don't have any specifically uh, what you call uh, name that's only attachment solenoid attachment so so anyone uh, any uh, technician or mechanic that we don't understand about that so that solenoid is only attachment but the function is to reduce and uh, make it high or uh, adjustment of the oil flow sorry <laughs> sorry about my English but I hope that everyone will understand okay that's only the oil flow okay we are I'm going to end this uh, video so we hope that everyone uh, and also uh, I would like to say something that some technician maybe is, uh, they are already experienced in this type of uh, uh, function of this machine and understand very well so correct me if I'm wrong about uh, how I explain about the situation or about the function of my topic for today okay correct me or send us a message for the correction or uh, you can send any comment for any question or uh, any help thanks and hope uh, everyone will uh, like my video and also please like and subscribe my channel for anyone who what we call it for anyone who uh, Okay, bye-bye. I'm sorry about that. Thanks.